In this video, I wanna talk about three ClickUp automations that can instantly turn you into a productivity superhero. Let's get after it. The first one I wanna talk about is moving ClickUp tasks to another task. And you might think that that is a simple thing, but let me show you in real life what that looks like. If I go into my creator dashboard, which is what I work on when I create these videos, I have a list called ideas inbox. So what I do is just process through ideas for new videos based upon feedback that I get from people who watch the videos, people who take my courses, people in my coaching. So what I do is I put them initially into an ideas inbox and I'm going to show you a cool little automation just by ticking this little box here. It will move it into my in progress board. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. So if I go into this list, my ideas list, inside of all of your automation or inside of all of your tasks rather uh, you have an automate button so if i click on automate i can go in here and i can see what active automations there are and i have this one set up when a custom field changes then move it to a list and change the status so and i've cop put that in here in the description approved ideas are moved to the in progress board so if i click on the little pencil tool and again i've already created this but if you one needed to create from scratch, just bright orange button called create automation. So I'm gonna go in here and show you what that looks like. So if I go in here, I have a custom field, which is a checkbox, and I've called that approve. So basically once I've approved this concept, this idea for a video, I'm gonna check that box. And then as you see the drop down here, I can move it to another list. And then I'm gonna change the status to booked planning and then click save. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like here in a second. So as you see here, this is ideas to process. So I'm gonna go ahead and check that little button and it's gonna disappear here in a few seconds. And then I'm gonna come over to my in progress board and I'm gonna see that show up on my in progress board here shortly. So we'll see that here again. This is the benefit of doing this live. I can't speed this video up. So I'm going to just do a quick refresh on the video or on the screen. Rather, as you can see, this is the one that we're doing right now. And then if I scroll down here, there's my click up life design course with the calm framework. Then it is in booked and planning. So just like that, I'm going to show you, I'm going to go back there and you'll see that it has disappeared uh, from the original content ideas board. And I look in my ideas inbox, it is gone. So that is tip number one. I love that. I use it all the time. You could automatically move tasks from one place to another. So now what I want to do is show you how uh, tip number two, or what that looks like. We're going to automatically apply a template to a task. And this one is really, really helpful. Again, when I'm creating tasks, I go into my creator's ta uh, dashboard. So I'm going to go in here and just show you what this looks like when I do my live stream. So I'm going to go into uh, YouTube and my orange nomad list. Actually, just go here. It's actually in it is in marketing and then I'm going to, this is the do what is necessary show and I'm going to click show. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that I have an automation. I'm going to go back to the automate and show you when a task is created, then apply a template, set a custom field. So it's going to set the custom field to live stream and set a custom field template. And it's going to tell me which template that I used. And it's also going to set the custom field playlist to my live stream, do it as necessary list and add the list and set custom field content type to live stream. So it's going to do all of that. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. If I go into edit, you can see how all of this takes shape when I task is created and then I can go in here and apply a template. So I'm going to go in here and apply a template. There's my checklist template. I'm going to click use template. So it's going to apply this template, set the custom field to live stream, set the custom field template, and it's going to reference back to the template. And I'm going to get that into another video and I'll probably link that up here on the left for you as well. 
it's going to set it add it to the in progress list and set it to content type live stream so i'm going to go ahead and save that so now i'm going to come back in here and let's just create let's test live stream and i just hit enter so now i'm going to watch as a template takes a few seconds before that automation will pull through So it's going to set all of that content and as you can see boom there is my checklist so there is all of my checklist items applied from a template that i have saved so that is automation number two if you like this so far if you like videos like this please click a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already let's move on to tip number three my tip number three is use of forms and if you didn't know that Yes, you can have forms inside of uh, ClickUp as well. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my productivity dashboard and one of the defaults that I have set up, which I recommend you should, uh, a te testimonial capture form. And this is an internal use form where I can capture all of our testimonials as I see them. So this is set up ahead of time. I can have a screenshot have the headshot, person's name, the company, copy and paste. And what is awesome about this is if I come in here to edit, I can change the form field. I can also have it apply a template to create a task. So what I just showed you for that checklist, you can customize. So when you click a form submission, it will automatically apply a template. So it automatically does things for you. And a bonus tip for that, if you're, you happen to use forms, I'm going to come up here to automate and go into active automation. So under usage, you only have so many tasks to be able to run inside of ClickUp automatically. I get 10,000 and I've only used 287. So I don't really have an issue bumping into the overage. Uh, but if you don't want to use the automation tasks, you can also set it to apply the template using the forms and it will not use your automation task. So it's a little side bonus there uh, inside of ClickUp. All right, bonus tip. I'm gonna, if you stayed till the end of this video, I'm gonna give you a bonus tip and it also has to do with forms. So I'm gonna come up here into automate for this particular form. And I'm gonna go ahead and create an automation. And the automation is you can send an email notification to somebody when a form is filled out. So if I come in here to uh, when this happens, actually, let's go ahead and do a custom automation. So I'm gonna come in here to add automation. And then if I come down here under email, and there's a lot of pre-built recipes for you. So, what a ta when a task is created so when that form is filled out so if i show you right here i'm gonna go ahead and select my email address and now i can have it i can turn off all of these and only have it so that when a form is filled out then it will send an email and you can actually customize the subject the body you can bcc and cc people on that so lots of great tips for using automations inside of clickup so very quickly, those are my three top tips with a bonus thrown in there. Again, if you like these videos, check out this video over here. Uh, you'll see the common mistakes that I see and that I made with my ClickUp, and hopefully you'll be able to correct some of the ones if you've made those yourself. See you in the next video.